everybody, and welcome to episode 152 of the Let's Play World. Today is going to be a really great episode. You might recognize this as the hallway to our old base. We're going to pop in here and we're going to just grab a bunch of supplies. There's some things that I just need. Let's see if I remember where anything is. One, for example, is some wool. I'm going to grab, there we go, some purple and some black wool. That'll help us finish up our nether hallway. I'm also going to grab some potions. Let's see, that's a three minute, three minute. Do I have any eight minutes? Now let's run down here to our potion brewing area. the fire resistance there we go eight minutes we're gonna grab some of these to help us over on our nether project what a great view this was I really really liked this area so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the tower and I'm gonna tell you about all the stuff we're gonna get done today because I want to get a lot done today. When we were looking at the wall of tasks last week, there were a bunch of things that I wanted to get done. And I think today, we're going to start all of them. Now that definitely means we're not going to finish anything today, but I do want to get a start on a bunch of these projects. That way we can kind of work on things as they kind of catch our fancy and get some of these things done. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of banners. I want to have some banners on hand so that we can mark places that we find when we're exploring. When we've been flying around and exposing those maps, we've seen lots of cool features and villages and caves and stuff like that. And I think what I'm going to do is do some live streams so we can just go up there and just poke around and explore. While we've been running around, We've just been kind of flying over these maps, but we haven't spent a lot of time poking around. You know, if there's an obvious thing, like for example, a desert temple, I was stopping there, but there's just a lot of stuff to check out up in this area here. And so I think I'm gonna do that during live streams. Over the next couple of weeks, I think I'm just gonna do some impromptu live streams just so I can test things out and make sure everything works and you know, get my connection and my software all sorted out. And then once I kind of get that figured out, I'll start posting them. And I'll probably do them on Fridays or Saturdays uh, Pacific time, because I think that's when most people will be available. The thing that's really tricky about me is I live on the West Coast of the United States. And so, like, when it's nighttime for me, most of the rest of the world is asleep. And so, um, yeah, trying to line up schedules is going to be a little bit of a trick. But I think on a Friday or Saturday would be the best shot for most people to have a chance to tune in. And I suspect most of the live streams will probably be an hour or two, you know, just some exploration and poking around, maybe getting some work done on some of the existing projects. But we'll save the main story and the big projects and the reveals for the episodes. I think I'm going to put these extra banners and an anvil in our extra supply box and that way we'll have those available to us and then I realized we never tagged our mangrove outpost on the map so we're going to do that next let's run through the nether since we last saw each other haven't gotten anything done down here yet Oh yeah, we still have that uh, Bastion Remnant to check out too. Almost forgot about that. Voila, we made it. Let's see, where could we hide? Banner. We do it around back here. There we go.
and even believe it, I grabbed the wrong map. So I had to run back to the base and grab the right map. There we go. Okay. Mangrove outpost is tagged. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to run over to the Nether Fortress. Between episodes, I did a bit of work over here. And I think the way to best show it off is going to be with the free cam mod. So let me break away here and kind of zoom out. Oh, I can't go through the walls. I can't go through the walls. Well, let's put a hole in the wall, I guess. Okay. There we go. So you're going to notice as I zoom up here that there is like this big square right here little connector and then another big square but here's the plan these two big squares are going to be big pyramids and then there's going to be a little structure to connect the two pyramids in the middle and we'll probably do something ornate on top of it so that means instead of having to like clear the whole monument out we really just need to clear it down to this level and then this level we want to fill in so that they are solid platforms put this back together before something attacks me here so i've been doing a little bit of thinking about what the nether monument's going to look like and i'm going to put a little drawing up on the screen to kind of illustrate what i'm thinking you can see it's basically two big pyramids and the pyramids are kind of connected in the middle oh geez you can see it's basically two big pyramids that are kind of connected in the middle and then there's like a decorative element on the top the pyramids will mostly be made out of nether brick with maybe a little bit of black stone. And then I think what I'm going to do is have a walkway continue through the middle of the pyramids that will be made out of glass. And that way nothing can spawn on it. And then inside, since it's all nether brick, hopefully we'll get lots of wither skeletons and things spawning in there. And we can kind of use it as like a wither skeleton farm. So still quite a lot of work. You know, we need to get that whole platform in there. We need to kind of grind this down to the level of the platform and we'll probably need to remove some of this netherrack up above in some of these places. So it's going to be a pretty big project and it's going to take a while, but I think it's going to be really cool when it's done. Got this new Mesa tunnel to work on still. Another little change I made. I carpeted this hallway here. I had added lights to try to prevent skeletons from spawning in here, but every once in a while I would still get one. So I'd come turning the corner and get shot in the face with an arrow. So I used all the gray carpet that we pulled up uh, over there here and then just speckled some kind of complementary colors. So, you know, we've got the purple that kind of matches this, the blue that's in the basalt. I think it looks kind of fun, kind of cool. And it's spawn proof and that's what counts. Let's run back upstairs here. Let's replace our maps real quick. Excellent. Awesome. Now we've got the spike and right next to it, we've got the mangrove outpost. So let's talk about the wall of tasks. Okay, so nether monument, we're working on that. The circle, that's the pool that's below us. I started to do a little bit of work on it. So outside here, if we look down, this side here is pretty steep and is going to need to have, you know, a little bit of work done. And then this side over here dips down really deep, like about five blocks. And so this is going to need to be evened out as well. Now, on the other side, I started doing some work on the circle. And what I did is I sort of built like a retaining wall. So it looks a little bit more intentional. And then you can see there are a ton of leaves going on here. Uh, let's pop on down and I'll show you what it kind of looks like. So I've been adding some stone bricks in here, like I said, to make it look more intentional and then kind of making it look a little bit overgrown, just stacking leaves up and then making the leaves come down into the water a little bit. And I think it looks real good. It's not entirely spawn proof, but with a little bit of glow lichen and some leaves, it should limit the spawns. So that's going to continue all the way around. And then as you can see here, 
I started doing these little kind of divots in the pool just to give it a little bit more texture. And so far I'm liking it. I think it could use a lot more because right now it's just kind of a little speckling all the way around. And then like I was saying right over here, this is a really steep drop off. And so this is gonna need to get a, a evened out and terraformed here. And then we'll kind of continue that idea all the way around. When we hop up top here, you can see, like I was saying, it looks nice and textured, but it definitely needs more, you know? That's the circle. Ship battle. I've got an idea. Blaine Train's been a follower of this channel since the very beginning, and I have had that suggestion on the wall for so long. So let me tell you what I'm thinking. Right below our little mountain temple here, there's this weird little island right here. And it's kind of a cool looking island, and I think it would be a neat place to build like a little fort, and then we could have like a ship battle there. That's idea number one. The other option, up on the Wall of Tasks, there's a couple of floating things. We've got a floating castle, and we've got a floating island. Now I was thinking, when we were poking around, there's these islands right up, I believe they're right here, and they're really tall, and I think it kind of has that avatar kind of look, you know, like really overgrown and really extreme, and that might be a place that the floating things could be. And so we could also do the ship battle there. So I'm not sure. I'll have to go check them out and see, you know, what would be more appropriate. You know, if we did it over here, it'd be nice and close to the temple, easier to get to. Whereas if we did it up here, it'd kind of be out in the middle of nowhere, but potentially we could build a portal that could get us out there. So I'll have to go out there and actually look at them and see what I think. So these really tall islands, let's go take a look at them real quick. They are just a little bit north of us. Here they are. Yeah, they're kind of extreme, you know what I mean? Just really tall, really small. And if we had floating things above them, like a floating island or a floating castle, that'd be kind of cool looking. This one right here, and there's even a shipwreck already. Look at that. We've got some jungle over here, some jungle over here. And I just think this island looks real piratey, you know? It would be kind of cool to build like a little fort, and then maybe out here we could have a little ship battle. So yeah, I definitely think I like this area better. So we'll do the ship battle here, and then we'll do the floating builds up north. All right, let's go put these maps back. All right. So next up, let's get started on this wool farm. Oh yeah, and we should probably... Another tunnel to Mesa. There we go. Okay, wool farm. There it is, wool farm. The wool farm we built before, we had all of the different colored sheep individually penned up, and then we had an observer watching the grass block, so whenever they ate, they would get automatically sheared. I wanna try something a little different this time. I saw a wool farm that Exuma made a while ago, and it sheared the sheep from the top, so they could just kind of roam free and then periodically they would all get sheared and it was kind of a cool idea. 
The other thing I'm thinking about now that we have universal dyeing is there are some colors of sheep that I probably don't need, like red sheep or yellow sheep. Red and yellow dye is really easy to get, but I might want, you know, a pink sheep or a light green sheep or, you know, something like that because those would be a little trickier to dye. Let's grab a bunch of gray blocks here and we're going to build the wool farm right out there. Well, that is a pretty great start. I definitely need to make more rails. I'm getting really low on the regular rails, but we've got a ton of iron up here in our base, so that's not gonna be too much of a problem. I think basically what I'm gonna do is build four mini sheep farms, and that way I can kind of figure out the redstone, figure out the rails on a smaller scale, and if it works, I can just kind of replicate it three more times. And I think that'll be a nice addition to our farms. If we kind of take off and check them out from the air, you can see, I think the new farm is gonna fit in really nicely with the other ones. One thing we didn't tackle at all was getting a camel and a sniffer over to the zoo. And I think we're gonna work on that next episode. Was it the best Minecraft episode ever? Eh, I don't know about that, but it was pretty good. And I'm glad you were all here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.